Hey guys, it's Moody here, and as you all know, I use a Mac to record all of my battles and whatnot, and I know that once I transferred from my PC to my Mac, because I got a Mac um, as sort of a college gift thing, um, I didn't really have a choice. I had to switch over to Mac and uh, I had a problem, not really a problem, but I tried to find the easiest way for me to record battles and I went through like many different things. First I tried using the Desmume em emulator for Mac and the problem with that is personally I think it ran way too slow. Uh, even with my computer which I think is like fairly decent and it didn't have the built-in recorder that my Desmume for my PC has had or excuse me um so what I did was uh, instead of uh, having boot camp installed which basically partitions your drive and you'd have Mac on one and Windows on the other. Um, I wanted to keep my Mac while also having a uh, Windows run so what I did was I installed Parallels although I have the Windows 7 version which is definitely going to take up a lot of RAM when I open it because when I open Parallels the thing is you start running two uh, operating systems at the same time so obviously that's gonna occupy quite a bit of RAM usually when I open it at first then that's like where the slow part is or sometimes it would freeze but usually after the startup it's uh, fine there's like not there's not it's really not slow at all once uh, I get it to open and then I'm able to run any Windows programs I want on my Mac um, I know it's kinda it requires you to go out of your way and like install another program to get another one working and at first I try to avoid that but really um, honestly if you want to get a decent um, emulator I found that this is really the only way to do it I mean technically not the only way but this is like the the cleanest way and it's pretty simple too so this is um what fits me it doesn't necessarily have to fit you you could also try using the Desmume for Mac and see how well that works but the problem like I said I had it was too slow and then you'd also need to uh, buy Camtasia for Mac um, in order to record the screen and the problem with Camtasia for Mac was that it did have the the newest version has the whole um, thing where you can crop a uh, part of your computer screen and do it but uh, the problem with the actual program itself is that you can't really speed up the video two times. You'd have to end up rendering it out and then editing it again in iMovie or Final Cut Pro. And honestly, I feel like I don't want things to be too complex because that's really what discouraged me from doing battles and uh, whatever recording I mean in recording in general to begin with it was like really discouraging for me to have to install one program so I can render video and make it work in another program and whatnot so um, I found that the easiest way for me to work this through was to get parallels uh, with parallels it's a program like I said it's gonna run Windows but if you want the program to use less space, like if you have a slower computer, you're probably better off running Windows XP if you have a CD. Um, I had a Windows 7 CD, so I just popped that in and it installed right away and there haven't been any problems, so that's fine. But 
Uh, I guess it does require a bit of patience for it to load up, but once it load up, loads up, then uh, it's fairly quick, in my opinion. So this is going to be like a little tutorial on more or less the Mac and Windows um, side of it, because honestly, Mac doesn't really have any like promising emulators or whatever, and I don't really want to have to use millions of programs just to have one video uh, be the product of them all. Especially since I record battles and I battle frequently, I really don't want to invest that much time into doing one project. So I try to narrow it down to the easiest way for me. Um, you don't have to follow this way because I'm going to leave the Desmond May emulator for Mac in the description. Um, and you can try it out and see if you like it. That's also an alternative. So I think that's really the only other alternative because um, you can't really run Desmond May and Wine uh, or Crossover, the two programs that can like run Windows. Uh, programs uh, like I tried using those two as an alternative but the thing is meanwhile the emulator does load and it works fine the problem I have with it is that I can't import backup memory I can only start a new game so that's the only problem I've had with getting it to work. I don't know if anyone knows how to get it to work, but if you just want to play the game, I guess, you can get wine and run Desmond just fine. But I don't know about other people, but for me, I couldn't get it to work because I can't import my save file and have it actually work with the emulator. So. That was my problem with trying to use wine slash crossover. But if you guys want, you can try and do it. I don't know how. Personally, I'm telling you that I had an issue doing it. But I'm, if you have like a solution to it, that's great. That's If Desume could work with wine, that'd be like fantastic. So here I have Windows Startup. Um, you have, first of all, you have a few ways you can run this. I, there are... Um, modes like right now I'm running crystal mode which is uh, where it just like closes the desktop and all you're left with is the start menu bar right on top right here uh, this is my preference because uh, it's a lot faster this <clears throat> sorry it's a lot faster this way for me uh, because I can easily just open the start menu um, <clears throat> and just log on to whatever administrator and then I have uh, all my Windows stuff right here and it's perfectly fine so um, you have to navigate through the actual Windows operating system to get it to work you can't use your obviously Mac OS X, oh, 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 sorry you can't use your Mac operating system trying to run it while doing this you have to do it all through parallels all through Windows so uh, I just find my folder I have a folder devoted to Desmond May it just like keeps everything clean and I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna make a file um, with my Desmond May and my settings for it and leave that in the description for you guys to download because I have an edited version of it that only records the top screen so you don't have to waste extra space if you want to record just the, like naturally when you download Desmond May for a PC you, if you want to use the built-in recorder that it has, uh, it's going to record both screens. So what you want to do is, I think this version is better since it's been edited just to record the top screen and uh, you're good. So, <clears throat> um, the way this works is, first I obviously open up my emulator and I navigate to where I keep my ROM. Uh, naturally, I like keeping my ROM together with my Desmame, as you can tell right here. 
Um, the DSV, the DSV file um, doesn't have to be there. Those are usually just created when you load up the game. So I want to open ROM first, and it's gonna open up whatever. You're probably gonna have like my computer or whatever. So you have to navigate to the place where you saved your Nintendo DS file. So um, I'm also gonna leave a link to my ROMs in the description for you to download them I guess if you don't have them yet or whatever um, and you open up the ROM and first when you open it um, it's gonna take a while for it to load I think that's really the only slowest part of this whole thing and <clears throat> if you obviously try to like uh, click it or do it again it's gonna freeze up for a second so I just try not to do that and um, I can wait it out although uh, it also happens on actual uh, PCs it's gonna f like freeze for uh, a minute or two as the ROM loads up but once you load the save file that's not gonna happen um, what else I'm gonna leave that like I said in the description um, trying to think of what else I want to talk about. Um, uh, how to get the save file off your cartridge. That is usually, that re usually requires a lot of work. I'm sorry. Okay. My ROM loaded. I've done it before. I can try and do a tutorial on it like I did it with my Mac. Um, I'll try, but it's, I'm telling you, it requires a lot of work and you're better off buying a flash cart. So, um, the ROM loaded, so, um, like I said, don't worry about the settings. I'm leaving the settings file with, uh, the Desmume I use, so as long as they're in the same location, for instance, if they're both on your desktop or if they're both in one folder, then you're good. So next thing you want to do is import backup memory if you're using a save file, which is what you should be using. And so you need to navigate to the folder where the save file is. Naturally, I like to keep my things organized, so I keep a little folder called need to record. And then I have my LC battle versus whoever. So I just easily open up that save file and the game continues going. So what you need to do to get it to work is just reset the emulation so this time that it's gonna load it's uh, gonna load with the cartridge that you just uh, put in uh, the save file sorry the save file you just put in so uh, you can easily just click X and it's gonna skip all that eventually <laughs> so keep going blah 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 you get Pokemon white I use white where I started off and keep going so once you get to the actual screen right now uh, you should see that your save file is loaded if you still see new game then either you have an incorrect save file or you did something wrong or you forgot to reset the emulator you have to reset it in order for it to work so click X uh, launch seeker I don't usually do that so just click X and that's uh, how I do that right now and I just need to wait for the thing to load right now uh, it gets a bit it's not really that slow it, like I can tolerate it especially since I can run other things in the background so uh, when you record with Desume's uh, built-in recorder, like you don't have to worry about um, having uh, other uh, what am I talking about? Other like programs overlap the screen because it records whatever. You don't need to worry about like using other programs in the background while it um, records, which is what I love about it that I don't really need to worry about having other things overlap it. So right now I'm, you know, I'm rambling on. So first thing when my game starts up, I want to go to record AVI. And this way it's going to export an AVI. Um, you have two options. Um, first of all, before I even begin talking about that, give it a title and give it a save location. I like saving it in the same folder as 
my um, save file. So titled it Battle and uh, continue, just keep the save type as AVI and click OK. And now you have video compression. You have a few options here. <coughs> if you don't have Camtasia, I have a Camtasia on the Windows uh, portion of my computer too. So I have this other option. But for those of you who don't have Camtasia, you can still run the compressor and click full frames uncompressed and that way it's still going to give you the videos. Unfortunately, I think the videos are all going to be you're going to have um, parts depending on how long the battle is and you're probably going to have depending the average battle is probably going to have like at least uh, three or four parts to it and you just need to piece them together in the program that you're going to use. So if you're going to be using the full frames uncompressed, you have to you have to just know that first of all, it's going to seem slow in in game because it's recording using the program and it's going to be in like 2 gigabyte parts each. So that's that and you can just click okay and the AVI will start on its own. Now if you have Camtasia like I do, I like using the TechSmith screen capture codec that comes with Camtasia. And before I even pr click OK, I just make sure that it's set to better compression and click OK. And once I set that video compression, I just click OK. And then you could see it says AVI recording started. If you clicked the full frames uncompressed, you'll see the same thing. And from there on, you can just start doing your match. This is what I like to do. So you see, start off. And right now, it's just recording the match in game. Uh, not in game, I'm sorry, in the emulator. Except uh, when you use the TechSmith, TechSmith one, technically, I think it uses um, Camtasia to record, but you don't need, once I said, you don't need to worry about um, it recording over the thing. Like, it's not a screen recorder, it's a built in recorder, so it records whatever is on screen. So, I just find my video and once that's done you know we'll be good and so once the battle is finished which it almost is we're on the last turn here um all you're gonna have to do is you know wait it's all right obviously wait but I know you're eager to have it finished, but once it's done, all you need to do is just remember to click File, Stop AVI, and it'll just say AVI Recording Ended, and you get to close this. And now if I look back onto my Mac right now, or even if you have your whatever Windows, just go to the folder that you recorded it in. In this case, I used uh, this one called Need to Record, and here would be the battle. For me, it's saved as one piece because you used the Camtasia codec, and if you were using, uh, what do you call it, the uh, uncompressed frames, you'd have about uh, four or five uh, about AVI files depending on how many turns were in your battle. So that's how I record my stuff for anyone who has a Mac and a PC. Hopefully this is helpful to you if you want to get started doing Wi-Fi battling and recording or if you'd like to switch from your camera to uh, computer recordings and have better quality. Um, hopefully this helps. So good luck guys and I'm going to do a follow up tutorial on how I get my quality in the next video. And with that just please thumbs up the video if it helped you or you can drop a comment and that's about it. I love you guys. Bye.